Dokkan, Dokkan battle video. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. So there's a couple things to talk about here, right? So for starters, uh, we should be able to get a good look at the new support memory animation um, as soon as we enter into this battle. So let's go ahead and do that and see uh, what this support memory looks like. Um, let's see. Will you activate? Yes, it will. Of course, <laughs> it's, of course it's going to activate. And no, I don't think it did. Okay, okay. Well, good. Perfect. Whatever. Fine. Oh, there it is. Oh! Gohan and Piccolo. All right, so... I do actually like this support memory uh, mechanic, this feature right here. Um, the only thing is that I do wish maybe if the effects would last for like the entire fight or something like that, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, this is exactly fine. Float off Gohan, Goku and Vegeta, and then uh, uh, Demon Goddess. So yeah, exactly the way it is. Fine. All right. So we're using this Master Roshi, right? Let me talk about the support memory first, then we'll talk about Roshi. So the support memory, uh, I believe for the first two turns... Master and student bond category characters are going to get a 10% attack and defensive buff. So for this first rotation, Roshi is getting a 10% attack and defensive buff uh, from the uh, like Gohan and Piccolo Master and Student Bond support type item, right? So you do want to definitely understand that, right? Uh, so I mean, that's going to be a new wrinkle on some of these showcases i guess is if if we want to use sometimes some of these support memories or what i mean i guess it's kind of hard to say um all right so now talking about this roshi right so roshi currently as he is in game i think is pretty mid i mean we'll see how he looks but he is confirmed to be an lr actually why don't we just go ahead and show this now so real quick go let's go to roshi's card art and we can show Oh, I like his chef pack, but uh, his potential system stats, if you click the little thing, and we can see that it's 5,000 across the board. So, Roshi will be Dokkan Awakening into an LR, probably in part two. Um, I think we probably will see him EZA as well, because his TUR, again, is pretty mid. So, he, he introduces a new category into the game, Turtle School. Can we look at the category real fast, actually? If you scroll all the way to the right, can we pull it up? Uh, it's the first one. Yep. Uh... Yeah, right there. Yeah, okay, okay. So this is the Turtle School category. Um, It's pretty good <laughs> because it includes every freaking Goku in the game. Now, Goresh told me that Buchigiri had the exact same like like type of thing, and it also included every single Goku in game. So this category is going to be real good because you have every Goku, you have like all the Yamchas, all the Krillins. It's just going to be a good category. Roshis as well. Um, and I think this Roshi is going to be strong for this category as well, right? So, all right. Um, so, Roshi leads that category, and he also supports that category. So, let's see. What, what is his defense right away? We're just real fast. Oh, 100, 123K. That's pretty good. Wh why is it so high? So, he has 80% defense at the start of turn. He gives Turtle School category allies one key and 20% attack and defense. I guess we do have the Master and Student Bond, Gohan and Piccolo. That is active. So, yeah, we are getting the extra 10% attack and defense. Um, no, no, what links do we have active as well? Okay, so we have Turtle School active, I believe Solid Support, Brainiacs, and Turn of Power. You know what it is? Something like, dude, Turtle School, I think, is a very powerful link. Um, but yeah, sure. L let's just go ahead and have uh, Roshi uh, do an attack. Oh, actually, show his card art real quick. There's one more thing I want to look at before we move on. Um, if you go to Roshi's links, this is another very big thing right here, is the boy only has six links. As a TUR released in 2021, obviously that seventh link is going to be legendary power, right? So yeah, we can go ahead and, and continue on. Um, and let's see what Roshi's attack animation looks like. I've already seen it. It's very, very good. Uh, Roshi has a really solid attack animation. Um, all right, so here he does the, what is it, the Bancoco Bickery Show, I believe is what it's called, his lightning flash surprise attack. And you can see, like, there's definitely going to be more to it. Like, I imagine the uh, LR Roshi, he'll be full power, um, and he'll probably do, like, the full power Kamehameha that he does in that one episode. I mean, Goresh has told me that uh, many Japanese, uh, like, like, in the community, like, they consider that uh master roshi episode to be like the best episode of dragon ball super like i believe that's the highest rated episode um of dragon ball super that master roshi episode where he uh beats a bunch of other universe characters so that's definitely an important thing to consider when they decide to make him a free-to-play lr 
I think uh, I think that's going to be very. It, it's going to be received very well. I think by both the Japanese community and also like you know our, I guess our. I don't know, what, what do I call this community? YouTube community? Reddit community? Twitter community? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever we want to call it, right? Um, so let's look at, okay, so Roshi, right? We did see that he was under a 1 million attack set right there, which is obviously pretty bad. Um, the reason for this is he gets no attack buff from his passive besides the support type buff he has. He does greatly raise attack for one turn on his super attack. He has a medium chance to stun. We know medium chances are all 30% now. And he's also got a medium chance to dodge. But you can see how, like, once he becomes an LR, like, you know, if that turtle school buff is, like, two key 30% attack and defense, it's, like, every, like, Goku in the game. All right, this is going to be, I think, basically the... Well, actually, actually, we want Master Roshi in the, in the middle because it's going to get Shattering Limit from that Gohan. Yep, so now we have five out of six. Yep. The only link not active here, I believe, is Supreme Warrior. Uh, off the top of my head, I think, like, God... Hopo has Supreme Warrior. There's some units like that. What is uh, Roshi's defense on this turn, by the way? It should be really high. That's pretty good. Um, with a 30% chance to dodge, 30% chance to stun, 145k defense. I think this, like the LR version of this Roshi is going to be fairly good. Um, right now, it's like he's like, okay. I, like, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm much more inclined to say that he sucks, honestly, than anything right now. But again, he's, he's like an incomplete unit. Because for sure, Roshi is going to be an LR, right? We know that for sure. But then even more so, I would say it's very likely that Roshi could EZA as well. Because obviously, he's in the free-to-play LR, like, Goku Zamasu spot from last year. 1.31. See, like, that's horrible. 1.31. Uh, I mean, as an L... Okay, 1.43. That's going to be, like, the highest we're going to see in this video. That's pretty bad, right? Like, uh, that's not good. Um, but like uh, one of the big reasons for this, of course, is because he's just, he's not complete, right? Like once he gets legendary power, once he gets that LR awakening, probably once he gets his EZA as well, he will look a, a lot more formidable, but I, dude, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the only thing that's, a, I guess, cause I'm thinking that when he does become an LR again, he will be like, like the, the full power master Roshi, right? When he becomes an LR. So as that, we will be able to probably hold a second copy, the TUR Master Roshi. Um, that could be pretty good, I guess, for like the Universal Survival Saga team, or could be useful for reps of Universe 7. If you're like a free-to-play player and you don't have many reps of Universe 7 category characters, which is very likely considering most of them are super powerful, um, like Dokkan Fest exclusives and LRs and stuff like that. Uh, this, like, you know, being able to use the LR Roshi and p potentially the TUR Roshi as, um, <clears throat> uh, whatchamacallit, uh, like, like, units for the Refs of Universe 7, uh, team, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, what is his defense here? So now we have Kibu, it, actually, I guess it sh it'll be just slightly lower than what we saw last turn because now we don't have Shattering Limit active. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this attack set active. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, so, so let's, let's see what Roshi does here. I mean, I guess, let me know what you guys think of him. He is okay, but it, it, it's, it's like the, the STR UI Goku is not going to awaken or anything like that. Like the, the UI Goku, we know him, but like, like the way he is, that's just the way he's going to be for a while, right? Like he eventually could get a Dokkan awakening, but like the three year anniversary Super Saiyan 3 Goku has still not even gotten a uh, awakening or anything like that. Um, but the Krillin in 18, the Tien and Master Roshi, and then this, like, Roshi right here, they're not, like, complete. They're not finished. So, like, like that's that's a big thing that we have to sort of, uh, I guess, keep in mind. So, we'll, we'll probably get one more attack stat for him, and then I think we'll go ahead and finish up. Um, again, Roshi, he, he's okay. He's okay. Uh, no, no attack buffs hurts him a bit, but I imagine... Like, because once he takes the jump to LR, I actually kind of want to see his... I, I, I want to see his stats one more time. Because when he awakens to an LR, a lot of his stats are going to jump very high, right? Like, what is he at? Like, 13,000 attack now? That'll jump probably to at least, like, 17,000 attack. His defense will probably go up by quite a bit as well. So, with all those extra stats, um, Roshi certainly could be hitting good numbers. I, I think... What's going to be more interesting is what's going to happen with the category, Turtle School. 
Um, like, is, is LRUI Goku gonna lead that? I mean, that, that, I don't know if that's a great pick to lead Turtle School. UI Goku? I guess maybe. Yeah, so check Roshi real fast. Um, I want to see what his stats are. Like, like, click, yeah, click him. Um, yeah, so I, I think it's very realistic that he'll have around 17,000 attack, probably. And maybe right around 11k defense as an LR. Like, if you apply that to the numbers he's hitting right here, I think he's good. Like, the LR is going to be really good. Because he's going to be a support for every single Goku in the game. What categories is this Roshi on? Let me see. So, Roshi is on Turtle School, Universal Survival Saga, Reps of Universe 7, Earthlings, and Battle of Wits. So, Battle of Wits, Reps of Universe 7, Universal Survival Saga, Turtle School... As basically a support type unit on those categories for every single Goku in the game, he's going to be good. Uh, yeah, it's like right now, this unit is pretty mid, but once he's fully done, I think he's going to be tremendous, actually. This, this is probably going to be one of the better free-to-play units in the game. I think he'll be right up there, right? Like, he's not going to be better than the free-to-play, some of these, like, LR EZAs, like, like First Form Freezer or the 2000 Day Goku, but he, I think this Roshi as an LR is going to be really good, so... Um, yeah, there we go. There was this Roshi TUR. Uh, you know, we will see him awaken to an LR probably a little bit later in the anniversary in like two weeks or so. Uh, let me know what you guys think and I will catch y'all next time.